Elementary English C, Quarter 1, Week 3 Using imperative and exclamatory sentences Our most essential learning competency is use different kinds of sentences in a dialogue. Learning English is amazing! Kick in! Let's explore and have a wonderful experience in English. I am Teacher Lexi, your English hero and learning buddy in today's journey. Do you have your activity sheets and pen with you? That's great! You are really prepared to learn. Let us have our daily expressions. In Filipino, ano-ano ang iba't ibang uri ng pangungusap? In English, what are the different kinds of sentence? Let us sharpen our vocabulary. Our vocabulary for this episode is Library Library is a place where books are kept for use but not for sale. If your answer is yes, then bring out your best. Let's do the thing. Let's have learning while enjoying. Continue shining, unfolding the meaning of nouns, pronouns, adverbs, and verbs. There is an excitement. lesson, you are expected to use different kinds of sentence in a dialogue. Are you ready? Here's an exciting activity for you to begin the lesson with. Let's start the let's try portion to check how much you know about the kinds of sentence. Directions. Choose the letter of the best answer and write it on the line before the number. Number 1. Which is an imperative sentence? A. Buy me a bread, please. B. My dog's name is Popoy. C. What is the name of your pet dog? Are you done answering? The correct answer is letter A. Number 2. Which is an exclamatory sentence? A. Are you hurt? B. I have a pet dog. C. Ouch! Your dog bit me! Are you done? The correct answer is letter C. Number 3. Which sentence expresses strong feelings? A. Popoy runs very fast. B. Please come here, Popoy. C. Stop! Do not run over the plants. The correct answer is letter C. Number 4. Teacher. Roland, tell Saville to close the front door. What should Roland say? A. Saville, close the front door. B. Saville, kindly close the front door. C. Saville, please close the front door.
The correct answer in number four is letter A. Number five, Lloyd. Claire, you got perfect in the test. What should Claire say to express her joy? A. Yes, I made it again. B. I study my lessons well. C. Please return my paper for my portfolio. The right answer in number five is letter A. What is your score? Thumbs up for those who've got perfect score. But if you got low score, don't worry kids. We will further discuss our lesson for you to understand more in this episode. Come on, let's get started. Have you visited a library before? What signages do you see in the library? Let us read a dialogue about the library. Good day, ma'am. Please lend me a book in English. Fill in the borrower's logbook before borrowing. Now, let us study the following sentences that you have just read. Good day, ma'am. Please lend me a book in English. And the other sentence is, Fill in the borrower's logbook before borrowing. We call these sentences as imperative sentence. An imperative sentence ends with a period. But remember that not all sentences that end with a period is imperative. Others are declarative sentences. Let us study the organizer to learn more about imperative sentence. Imperative sentence has two types, the command and request sentence. We have here examples of command sentence like A. Keep quiet. B. Return the books properly. And we also have examples of request sentence. A. Please fall in line. B. Kindly speak with the librarian politely. Take note that the request sentence uses the words please and kindly, while the command sentence does not. Let us read another dialogue. He broke my vase. It was an accident. I am very sorry. Cheer up. We will buy a new vase. What are the emotions shown in the picture? We have being angry, sad, and happy are shown in the picture. So what are the sentences in the dialogue? We have, he broke my vase. It was an accident. I am very sorry. Cheer up. We will buy a new vase. We call the sentences as exclamatory sentence. You can express your emotions or feelings by writing an exclamatory sentence. It usually ends with exclamation points. Let us study the sentences once more. Number one, he broke the vase. What do you think is the emotion being described in this sentence? The speaker is angry. Number two, it was an accident. What do you think is the emotion being described in this sentence? The speaker is scared. And number three, cheer up. What do you think is the emotion being described in this sentence? The speaker is happy. Grade 3 learners, did you understand our lesson? Can you use imperative and exclamatory sentences in a dialogue? That's great! Let us now start our first activity. Directions Put check mark on the line before the number if the sentence is imperative. 
and X mark if it is an exclamatory sentence. Number one, please observe social distancing. Write your answer now. The correct answer is check. Number two, Anna, take your medicine now. Write your answer. The correct answer is check. Number three, the movie is great. What is your answer? The right answer is X. Number four, what a beautiful day. What's your answer? The right answer is X. And down to our last number, number 5. Pass the paper properly. Write your answer now. The correct answer is check. Did you get all the answers? You're almost done! Here's another activity that will make you understand further our lesson. I am sure that you will enjoy this. For numbers 1, 2, and 3, complete the dialogue by choosing the correct imperative and exclamatory sentence inside the box. Write the sentence in the call out. For numbers 4 and 5, Use each picture as clue to write imperative and exclamatory sentences on the dialogue. For numbers 1 and 2, here are the options. Water the plant. Please bring the flower pots here. Kindly handle each seedling with care. Write your answer now. What do you think is the answer for the first dialogue? Please bring the flower pots here. How about on the second dialogue? Water the plant. Next number, we have number three. Here are the options. How much is your new toy? Wow, your toy car is really nice. Write your answer now. What do you think is the correct answer? Wow, your toy car is really nice. Number four, write an imperative sentence. Lisa, I will be leaving for work. Paul, what will you say to your sister? Write your sentence now. Good job! I know you were able to write great sentence. And down to our last number. Number 5. Write an exclamatory sentence. Raisa, what happened here? According to the picture, write your sentence now. Great! I know that you were able to write a good sentence. An imperative sentence ends with a period. But remember that not all sentences that end with a period is imperative. Others are declarative sentences. You can express your emotions or feelings by writing an exclamatory sentence. It usually ends with exclamation points. Directions Choose the letter of the best answer and write it on the line before the number. Number 1. 
which is an imperative sentence. A. Buy me a bread, please. B. My dog's name is Popoy. C. What is the name of your pet dog? Let's proceed to our next number. Number 2. Which is an exclamatory sentence? A. Are you hurt? B. I have a pet dog. C. Ouch! Your dog bit me! Number 3. Which sentence expresses strong feelings? A. Popoy runs very fast. B. Please come here, Popoy. C. Stop! Do not run over the plants. Number 4. Teacher. Roland tells Seville to close the front door. What should Roland say? A. Seville, close the front door. B. Seville, kindly close the front door. C. Seville, please close the front door. And down to our last number. Number 5. Lloyd. Claire, you got perfect in the test. What should Claire say to express her joy? A. Yes, I made it again. B. I study my lessons well. C. Please return my paper for my portfolio. Let us now check your answers. Let's have the correct answers. For number one, the answer is letter A. If you got the correct answer, here is your English Hero Badge. Number two, the correct answer is letter C. Here's another English Hero Badge. For number three, the correct answer is letter C. Have your another English Hero Badge. And for number four, the correct answer is letter A. Here's your fourth badge. And number five, we have letter A. Congratulations, you have your five English Hero Badge. This has been your learning buddy, Teacher Lexi. See you on the next episode. Just remember to always keep watching Puerto Princesa Dream TV where you are the English Hero. See you next time for more fun and engaging lessons.